riding my bike back and forth to school, you see the seasons change, uh, like right now it's fall, it's, it's beautiful, it, it puts things in perspective. I feel like being on a bike kind of forces me out of whatever I'm stressed about or whatever I'm worried about and, you know, it kind of puts me in a happier place. My name is Roos Legers. Um, well, most people call me Rose, I hear, but it's Roos. Um, and I teach philosophy, mostly ethics. I grew up in the Netherlands, um, in the south of the Netherlands, which is it's the best part of the Netherlands. Uh, very much in the countryside. My parents still live in the house where I was born. Um, it's, uh, it sort of sits on the edge of this big area of dunes. And so there's a lot of biking and hiking. Um, I love going back there. So to me, philosophy means critical thinking. Um, and so questioning assumptions and realizing that the assumptions you most need to question are probably the ones you don't even see as assumptions. The way I've explained it to my students is that philosophy is studying the lens through which you look at the world. It's as if you take off your glasses and look at the glasses themselves, which of course you can, you can never do completely, but the idea is, and that's, that's why it's great to be at Babson because of all the diversity here, you're forced to consider other people's perspectives, right? So it, to take on different perspectives equips you better to deal with the world and make good decisions in it and be more successful. That, that is a very um, utilitarian answer, right? Like you do it because it pays off. Um, I think there's a deeper and, and, and more important reason you should be exposed to other perspectives, which is that, but this is a very personal answer. I think it's a personal obligation, simply because you cannot assume that you are right. If there's one thing I would want my students to take away from my classes, it's that there's value in asking like, the, the deeper questions that make you uncomfortable, the kind of questions that create awkwardness. Uh, because where there's profound awkwardness, I think there's something interesting going on. And in avoiding it, you miss out on opportunities to do something interesting. <laughs>